the two of the package of trees we bought from the keeper's nursery. They come in this packaging, packaged in hay. That was really good because it saved them from frost. And now I'm going to open them. The packaging now is opened. Beautiful hay. Good root systems. Right sized trees. And uh, now the time to open. The trees I've received from them are very good, like the other time I bought from them. And I have also two Iranian medlars. Uh, they are the right size. It's a little bit toward the smallish, but uh, we will see how they do here. And also one apple, that's the apple topaz. Which is a really good size, I'm happy with that. Bagging the hay is for the chickens, as a bedding. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. And these are the white currant and red currant that I bought also from Blackmore Nursery. Five pounds only each. Really good value, I'm saying. Daylight is very short. Unfortunately, I run out of time. And uh, these uh, white currants, red currants and blueberries, I, have, I don't have the time to plant them right now. So I have to heal them. That's the process of healing. You dig a hole, you put them in an, in an angle into the soil and then cover them, with this, cover them back with the soil. Then with your heel of foot, you just press the soil to uh, remove all the pockets of the earth. Fill them with the soil, and that's it. You can keep them as long as you want until that you have the time and uh, you can go and plant them. This is the work I've done now. The daylight is really short here now. Uh, by almost 3.52 the sun will set. This one I think is a... Uh uh, either black currant or red currant. I bought it from the 99p shop or pound vault and uh, it was just a stick. You now after two years it is this big. It was in the other part of the lot which is now the vegetable garden and I just transplanted it. It, had a, it is almost three years old and uh, yeah transplanted. It has given already one uh, root system here and you see the leaves are growing. Actually, this one, which is closer, has given more leaves. Leaves are already coming out. This one is at the bottom stage. Not all of it. But it's a good size bush. I have several of these. I have the two major ones. But uh, these ones are the new ones. I want to add more because the taste of it. Red currant, white currant, and uh, uh, yeah, black currant are beautiful. I like it. They come and they go. I wanted more of that. I don't want just to have a few bunches of the fruits. They're so delicious. They give a little bit of uh, acidity to the fruit palate. And that's it. After a good rain, everything looks much better and fresher. But what I want to talk about now is to how to tell the difference between black currant and other currants, okay? The thing is that black currants leaves look very similar to red currant and white currant. So how we can, we can tell the difference? This is by the leaves. You rub your hand on the leaf, then you smell it. If it is white currant or red currant, the leaf will not give your hand any smell. You don't feel the smell, or very vague, just leafy, planty smell. But black currant has a distinctive aroma of the proper black currant when it is at its best ripe. And that's how it is. Yeah, oh God, it's so sweet. It's so sweet, this black currant leaf 
smell, fragrance. That I was thinking that actually probably I can take a few leaves, healthy ones, or new new leaf shoots, just to put in a pot. Pour some hot water, boiled water, boiling water into that. Get an infusion, just like a tea, to see how it tastes. I will do it. Okay, I was wondering what are these. I know now what are they. Uh, this is a currant bush. I think this is a red currant. And what I've noticed is that there are blister-like things on them. And uh, I know they are caused by something called... Uh, I learned it today from our, one of our fellow YouTubers. That these are called uh, current blister aphids or aphids. These are caused by that current blister aphid. And that's the way it looks. It's di distinctive. A reddish, orangish. The color is changing. It was yesterday very orangish. Today is a little bit uh, dull. And surprise, surprise, you can see them on the back. Here. I don't know if can, can it focus on that. Can I use my fingers at the same time? Guide the camera. Okay, I'll use this hand. Yeah, these are the aphids. Or aphids. These are the ones which cause this blister. They practically destroy the structure of the chlorophyll, probably they, I don't know, they secrecate kind of alcohol. Alcohol can extract, I know as a fact. Ethanol can do that, extracting the uh, chlorophyll and leaving the dead structure of the cellulose of the leaf like that. So, are they doing <laughs> fermentation? Uh, who knows? These are the aphids. Try to take some good pictures of that. Because I think that does work. It's good. Uh, I can see the blister beside the aphid actually itself. So. Not a big problem, the part that we want to eat are these foods. This is the one which I transplanted, this current, uh, red current. I uh, bought it from the pound world originally. Then, mm, it was just a stick, one single little stick. I put it in the ground, in the other part of the allotment, now it's doing well. So, I transplanted here. And look, this branch of it has already reached the ground and has established the root. So practically I'm ending up with two plants full of fruits. For a first year transplant, it's not bad, is it? And uh, lovely day. Thanks for the sunshine. And uh, I'm laughing at the pigeons. <laughs> I see the pigeons were eating cherries of my neighbor. And I was thinking that, my God, Claire, you're not there to cover them. But I did try to cover them. Not just the... Oh, another Bilderberger going somewhere. Enjoying the free ride and never paying for it. Anyway, what I was talking about is the... Yeah. The covering, I did cover not only the uh, one plant, I covered the whole area of the orchard. And as you see this, oh, topaz apple, look at it. It's full of fruits. I wonder how, how many of them will fall, how many of them will survive. Anyway, we will see after the June fall. June drop, as they call it. Hmm. Okay, this is a video about uh, uh, fruits on the wood of red currants. Okay, this is the first year I've planted this uh, fruit bush. I have about uh, 10 or 15 of these uh, from the 
keeper's nursery about them. And as you see, and the first year it has given some fruit. What I wanted to point out is that you can see here the fruit is actually is attached to the old wood. The new wood here don't have any fruit on it. So on the red currants, the fruit grows on the old wood. So you should not cut your old wood much vigorously if you want a crop. The new wood will give you next year the fruit. So the wood that they grow, they may get old or may get damaged. Then you can just bring the tip a little bit, trim it down, and that's it. You don't need more than that. So now you know where the fruit grows. You may have read it in the book, but that is very confusing. The, you talk about black currant, red currant, white currant, everything. Okay, red currant and white currants, I theorize they must be the same. So if they have fruit on the old wood, it will be the same for the white currant also. Black currant, it seems that uh, has a different case. I will make a video about that separately. But on the red currant, definitely the fruit grows on the old wood. Not the lower part of it, the growth which was from the previous year. From here to here, you see fruit has grown. Here. And this part will give me some fruit next year. This part may give also some fruit or may not give, but this is definitely the growth for next year which will give you, give you the fruit. So you know it now, remember where you saw it first. Okay, I'm now putting this windbreak just to protect uh, the orchard from the harsh winter storms. Look at this beautiful Red current. I mean, it will be red current when it is getting red, but now at the moment it's green. And look at that, it's full of bunches of the red current. This is amazing. It's just May, and it has such a growth this year. But I have been ignoring this, I didn't fill it with anything, and it's full of weeds around it. It's quite wild in a way. Look at it. And look at that beautiful black current. That black current is a little bit lagging behind, but uh, it doesn't have yet much uh, fruit, it's just in flower yet. But this one is already set, it's past the, almost all these flowers, and now it's in the fruit stage. This is the first uh, of the 2015 red currants. They're almost there. Few days, probably more, they will be ready. I'll try just a few of this. Mm. Oh, sweet. With a little sour taste, but they're so pleasant. What I feel is that they need more watering, so I'm going to water them more in the time that we have. Beautiful day. This is the one transplanted, and in the day of in the year of the transplantation, 
it has given this fruit. So I thought our red currants are finished. Well, look at this. Underneath it is food. Take pictures. They are beautiful. We are going to eat as much as we can fresh. Then hopefully freeze them so that we cannot eat. And yet, on the top we have. That's amazing. Beautiful day. A lot. These are the oldest uh, red currant bushes that we have in our apartment. Probably they are about 20 years old. Harvesting red currants. Red currants, huh? Yes. Beautiful. These are the ones we planted this year, huh? Really Ye yes, yes, yes. About the from Keeper's Nursery, yeah. Yeah. Uh, first year yet. Little, but. Very nice. Yeah, we have also major plants, but this is the first year one. So, we had a lot of this thing, red currant in our salad, in our food, in our ice cream. Yeah, we were <laughs> rolling in it. <laughs> Thanks God. That's a luxury that you can enjoy every summer, God willing. There's a few here. I will move just to uh, let you come around. It seems when you don't pick them, the, the fruit just falls. We found a few on the ground, and because we don't have any bird damage anymore, <laughs> so practically, <laughs> they completely get ripened. Okay, we have harvested uh, for the, I don't know, end time, uh, more, some more of this single bush of the red currant. We had others also, but this one is mature, so it's an established bush. We harvest probably about six kilo of it now, and I'm really tired. I cannot really go again, and there's yet a lot, a load of it. Every time I thought I found a bonanza, bonanza finished, I looked at the other side, another bonanza. So, uh, practically, a lot of it was fallen, a lot of it uh, was just given to chickens, a lot of it is here, we ate a lot. In the previous days and weeks, we were eating also a lot, so I'm tired today. I'm harvesting so I'm going now <laughs> just to freeze this one eat a little bit and then freeze today's harvest uh, some tayberry some blueberry this is a bluetta the variety is name it's beautiful take a picture that is a uh, red currant strawberry and more strawberries it's beautiful Evening. Yeah, our peach are doing well, it seems.